So, you're screwed. You have the exam that you need to study for, but you've been doing anything but that. But now the deadline is tomorrow, and you decide that it can't be pushed any further, so you sit down to study for it. But you're stressed about the deadline, and so you procrastinate, but that makes you even more stressed. And now you're back here, watching YouTube videos when you need to be studying. But that's okay, because this is the only video that you need to watch, to know how to study for a test the day before. The first two are things you can do, and the last one is something you can change, so make sure to stick around for the whole video. Number 1. Multisensory Learning We remember and learn things best when multiple sensors are involved. Look back to some of your best memories. Chances are that the smell of something or the way something felt or something you heard are all part of the memory. That's because the more senses there are, the more likely you are to remember it. And I'm not saying to go and eat your textbook, stop being stupid. But when we're in a rush, use lots of senses at once so that the information sticks. And so the way to do this is to watch videos to study. This might sound silly, but let's say you want to study a topic. The fastest way to learn is to watch a YouTube video on it. Put on the transcription and make notes as you go along. Because when you watch videos, it uses both your auditory and visual senses. And on top of that, when you write notes, it's actively consolidating that knowledge. Don't get distracted and start watching another random video or fighting someone in the comments though. Just stick to that video and when you need to pause and take notes, do that. And the reason that this is so good is that there are people out there who summarize these topics so well in condensed amounts of time because a lot of the stuff in your textbook is fluff anyway. So when you watch these videos, they're acting as a summary point and when you're writing these notes, you'll remember them. But you have to promise yourself that this won't become a distraction. Actively take notes and listen to what they're saying. And I don't know if this is weird or something, but when you're in an exam and a question comes up, sometimes for me, I can just replay that bit of video that I watched and I can find myself finding the answers. And talking about answers, this leads on to the second point. Answers first. This seems strange, why would you do answers first? Because ideally, you would make notes and learn about the whole topic and then you would do practice questions as I talk about in this video. However, taking notes and reading through the whole textbook takes time and time is something that we don't have right now. Because most of the time, textbooks at the end of the chapter have a chapter summary and questions that you can do. This is the gold mine, do these. By doing these questions, you're actually learning more because a lot of the information in textbooks is fluff anyway like we talked about and not necessarily tailored towards tests anyway. And if you really want to learn a subject, I would recommend reading through the entire textbook. But if your sole purpose is to study for an exam, it's to do the questions. But exam boards, they all end up asking the same types of questions. They have a preference for certain topics, but they don't question these. So by doing the questions, you're making it so that you're prepared for the exam, not for the topic. Think about that time where you study really hard for this topic test, but most of the stuff that you learned wasn't even in the test and it was all just one topic. And it might seem unpredictable and random, but it's not. The summary section at the end of textbooks is actually a good indicator about what the questions are going to be orientated around. For example, in this textbook, here's the summary and here are the practice questions. I would recommend you read the summary first and then do the questions because as I talk about in most of my videos, doing things and actively consolidating your learning by doing past paper questions is the best way you can learn. And the ones that you don't know the answers to, look at the answers and write them down and there you've got yourself a model answer that you can learn and you could use in the exam. Understand it and memorize the answer structure. This will give you a solid understanding of the answers but also the questions because the thing about exams is it's answering questions. When I just used to revise content, I wouldn't do as well as when I revised the question. Being able to know what the question wants and what the mark scheme is saying is very important because you will know just as well that the sum of the mark scheme for some subjects are word specific and you need to know how the mark scheme works. So revise questions as well as answers. And the third one, what you can change. So you know how to revise for a test the day before an exam, that's great. If you take on board all these tips, you'll undoubtedly do very well. However, when you have multiple exams or you have a big series of important internal examinations coming up, this simply won't cut it. You know just as well that you procrastinated and you probably should have done the revision before. And cramming is bad. I talk about this a lot, but it doesn't allow time for the information to be processed and stored in long-term memory. So inevitably, you're going to be ending up revising this topic again when you have to revisit this topic for the end of years. 
it could lead to stress and anxiety and it could lead to poor sleep because you're trying to cram things all at once and it doesn't give you a chance to actively apply the information so what you can change is ask yourself why you ended up procrastinating was it because you were bored or you didn't manage your time well enough or maybe you weren't organized or you couldn't find motivation so next time find out when you have an exam and straight away mark it in your calendar that way you'll always know when it is and tell yourself you'll try and be more organized if you found the cause of your cramming check out my other videos because i might have already made a video about it